Hello and happy primary election Tuesday from Radically Rational on this tradition rich first Tuesday in March. Yeah, they tried to blow that one by you. Okay, cue the John Philip Sousa music. Now is when I'm supposed to give you a stirring speech about how it's your obligation to vote. No, it's not. Don't get me wrong. The right to vote is a sacred privilege. It's not a burden. It's not a duty. It is a privilege. And you are 100% right when you cite all the sacrifices that have been made and all the American lives that have been lost defending our right to vote. So yes, it is a sacred privilege, one that we should all get down on our knees and be grateful for, but it's not an obligation. You are being manipulated when you're told that you have to vote. That's not the way we do things here. If you're an informed voter with an opinion and you want to vote, again, that is a sacred opportunity and you have my full support regardless of who you're voting for or why. But this idea that you have to vote, mm -mm, that's part of your freedom too. And I'm not necessarily referring to today, but there are times when not voting is itself a vote. If you are confronted with untenable options, if you are confronted with candidates, none of whom you can support, not voting can be a way of voting. And this idea that, well, you have to vote for the lesser of two evils, or in some cases, weevils, that's just not rational. Tell you what else wasn't rational. Did you see John Morant last night of the Grizzlies? Did you see the highlights clip or the game of his 52 points? I'm going to tell you, you may think this is strong and argue with me because it'll be a fun discussion. In terms of one game highlights, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Not Kobe, not Jordan, not LeBron, not anybody. Turning the page quickly, one more sports thing. Kyler Murray, you're a punk. We are radically rational.